Hello students and welcome to another example for related rate. In this video, we're going to be looking at something where we're going to be looking at water leaking out of a cylindrical tank. Some things are really going to change here, so let's get started. So as I'm reading this problem again, we're looking at things that, that are happening. So we've got water. It is leaking out. Okay, so that's telling me that a value is going to be negative cylindrical tank that's going to tell me what formula to use again it's going to just be given now we know that the rate that the water is coming out and it says cubic feet per second so that's going to be cubic so that's volume dv dt now if the radius so radius that's going to be r of the tank is four feet at what rate is the depth of the water changing at any instant during the leak so what you want to think about is some sort of large can that's a cylindrical tank all right some sort of large can like that and at what rate at what rate is the depth of the water changing so depth of the water so depth of the water of a tank you're looking at the water going down in that tank you want to be thinking of the height of the water so that's going to be at what rate is the depth of the water changing that's going to be dh dt all right so what's everything that we have going on here well we've got radius we've got height and we are also looking at volume okay so that's going to be really helpful as we're looking at stuff and we're saying okay um what what is changing what do we need to find now identify which of any of the variables in the problem remain constant and so what you want to think about is put yourself in that situation and think critically if you have a soda can and you're drinking the water okay or you sorry you're drinking the soda or whatever if you've got some sort of bottle of water in the shape of a cylinder as you start to drink that water down does the radius of the can does the radius of that cylinder ever change and it doesn't so that radius is going to remain a constant so that radius in this case is going to always be equal to four feet all right so what is given in our problem well we're given dv dt and that's going to be equal to a negative three feet per second again negative because it's leaking out it's becoming less all right and we want to find what do we want to find here well we want to find dh dt we want to find what is that going to be equal to okay so here's the equation for the radius or sorry here's the equation for the volume of a cylinder so volume is going to be pi r squared times the height okay don't worry about differentiating yet because we're going to substitute any values that remain constant which in this case is the radius so i'm going to go volume equals pi now my radius is going to be four feet and we're going to square it and then we're multiplying by the height still so let's just simplify this a little bit we're going to go volume equals let's see four squared so that's going to be 16 pi and then times the height and then we still have square feet in the end all right so those are just units that i'm going to keep track of and now of that function i'm going to take the derivative there so that's going to be dv dt equals um, 16 pi h so what's the derivative of h well that's just one but with respect to time dh dt so i'm going to get 16 pi dh dt and we're going to get feet squared still so we're still multiplying by square feet okay so just unit analysis as I go through everything. Now substitute all of our rates that we're given so that we can find what we need to find. Well, we know we were given dv dt. That was negative three cubic feet per second, okay? And then that was going to be equal to 16 pi dh dt is what we need to find. So I'm gonna leave that right there, dh dt, and then uh, feet squared so we want to isolate dh dt right so i'm going to divide um by 16 pi okay on both sides divide by 16 pi and i'm also going to divide by square feet so divide by square feet because i want to do that analysis on the cubic and the square feet right there all right so negative three over 16 pi i'm just going to leave it like that 
So negative three over 16 pi. Again, if this was a calculator question, perhaps you might just type that into the calculator there. All right, so negative three over 16 pi. Now, cubic feet over square feet, I have feet in the numerator and nothing divided out with the seconds. And that is going to give us the rate of change of the height at any point in time. All right, so if we wanted to find what's the rate of change at three seconds, at four seconds, at one minute, we'd be able to just put it into this formula and we'd be able to figure out how much that height is changing. You can see how, um, say we're spilling oil into something, we want to know how soon we that the oil is gonna stop spilling out or how much oil is going to actually spill out of that canister. These are real life scenarios that we can actually look at uh, because calculus is involved with those rates, okay? Of course, if uh, if you're not sure what it meant when we, we substituted constant values, please reach out to me for any help that you might need. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and this was Mr. Hernandez Teaches.